Ivan Crnojević earned an essential place in regional history, defending Zeta from the Ottoman Empire and the Republic of Venice and founding the first printing house in southeastern Europe. The church is the final resting place of the first and the last historical rulers of Montenegro, Ivan Crnojević and King Nikola. The remains of King Nikola and Queen Milena were brought back to Cetinje from San Remo in Italy in 1989. The monastery is a center of spiritual and cultural importance, containing manuscripts, holy relics and the Cetinje Oktoikos, the first book printed in the South Slavic countries. Biljarda was the residence of Petr II Petrovic Njegoš, a poet, bishop, philosopher and Montenegrin ruler from 1830 to 1851. This two-story building still contains the original pool table, workstation and library. King Nicholas Museum was built in the 19th century in a simple style typical for Cetinje houses with some elements of neoclassicism. This museum is by all means the most visited museum in present-day Montenegro. Between the world wars the palace housed Cetinje's high school and today it is the official residence of the president of Montenegro. A masterpiece of the Italian architect Corradini. It is a tasty mix of neo-Renaissance and neo-Baroque style. It was intended for the National Assembly and the Ministries. Nicola's colorful bee garden produces regionally recognized honey products, available to small groups of tourists as a complement to local food delicacies. The owners are always ready to show the estate to the visitors and talk about the traditional way of life in Montenegrin villages. The winery also produces various brandies and liquors with herbs and honey products. The monument comprises a stone canopy resting upon four columns and a massive sarcophagus. It was erected on a hill that surmounts the town, so it overlooks the entire city of Cetinje. It is a unique symbol of both spiritual and secular power of the Petrovic dynasty.